everybody bones here with cajun our new barbecue if you're new to the channel please consider liking and subscribing so you don't miss any future videos now today we're gonna do up some of charlie virgo's rendezvous dry rub memphis ribs if you're not familiar with them you should be they're a nice little joint in memphis tennessee tucked away down a back alley on the side of a hotel very famous little joint. What they do is that they cook their ribs over a fire that's 18 inches below for an hour and a half and that they baste it with a vinegar mopping sauce. I chose when I went there in January to get my ribs the traditional way which was just straight up dry rub. No sauce. Mm -hmm. Mine came out to be a little dry, but still flavorful. Today, we're going to do up his ribs. I don't have the recipe to do the vinegar mopping sauce, so I'm going to make up my own. I also don't have a grill to mimic his, so what we're going to do is hang them in a drum smoker. Stick around, we're going to get right to it. First step, seasoning the ribs. This seasoning has salt, pepper, garlic, some mustard seeds, celery seeds. It's also got some different herbs and spices that they do not list. It also has some paprika in there. We did not pull the membrane due to the fact that we are hanging the ribs. I do not want the ribs to fall apart while they hang. I didn't use a binder because they don't list on their site that they use the binder. And I didn't notice one when I went there. So we did not use a binder. To hang the ribs, we're going to go ahead and put in this spike two ribs down on the meaty end and there we go now we're gonna go ahead and move on to getting our grill ready so the grill is up to temp we're gonna go ahead and throw the ribs on real quick now we're gonna go ahead and start working on that mopping sauce while the grill is cooking these ribs we're gonna begin with making our mopping sauce now, like I said earlier, I don't have their recipe, so I'm going to make my own. We're going to start off with adding a cup of distilled white vinegar. I'm just eyeballing here. So it might be a little more, it might be a little less. Do a tablespoon of some kosher salt. Half a, tea, a teaspoon, sorry, a teaspoon of some black pepper. Teaspoon and a half of minced onion. One teaspoon of garlic powder. Teaspoon of paprika. One teaspoon of mustard ground and then a half a teaspoon of celery seeds go ahead and stir that up let that come to a quick boil and then let it go to a simmer then turn it off after a couple minutes we're one hour in we're going to go ahead and mop these ribs real quick They're looking so good.
let all that nice mop hit those coals, let them steam. Let that go for another, we'll do it half an hour and then mop them again. And I'm going to call these ribs. They look done, they look tender. Testing them, they're nice and done. Just look at those ribs. I'm going to let them rest for a minute and then we're going to slice into them. And we're done. Mine clocked in about three hours to do these ribs. I know he does his in about an hour and a half. But hey, got a different grill set up than he does. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at these ribs. Nice meaty ribs. Got a little bit of a smoke ring. Let's go in for a taste test. Nice bite. Got a nice vinegar tang to it. That paprika is coming through, along with the herbs and spices. Nice little mustard flavor to it. Got the celery seeds. Got a black pepper hint to it. Very nice. If you can't get to Memphis, might as well get their seasoning and do it yourself. If you like what I'm doing, you know what to do. Thank you and have a good day.